Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 36. That is, what is compatibility testing? Let me answer. Compatibility testing in simple terms is nothing but testing performed to check whether the software is working fine or correctly in all the supported test environments or not. Okay, as part of compatibility testing, we test the application software to see whether that is working correctly in all the supported test environments. Just working fine in one environment is not enough. It should work in all the supported test environments. For example, if I take this application, say amazon.com application, okay? If the amazon.com application is working only in Chrome browser and it's not working in Firefox browser, can you imagine the impact? So the end users or customers, okay, they're in real world, the end users or the real customers of amazon.com may not browse this application only in the Chrome browser. Some customers will use Firefox browser. Some customers will use this application to purchase the different products in different browsers like Opera browser, Brave browser, IE browser, Edge browser. They can use any browser, right? So as software testers, our responsibility to is to check whether this kind of applications are working fine in all the supported environments. In this case, browsers, okay? Not only browsers, guys, some people may use different operating system. Some people will use amazon.com in a browser which is available in a different operating system like a Mac operating system or Linux operating system like that, okay? They may also use this application. They may also browse this application in their mobiles, right? In their mobile phones using the browsers or whatever it is, okay? Different devices, a lot of things are there. So our responsibility as software testers is to check whether this application is working fine in all the supported test environments or not, okay? It can be different browsers, different operating system, different mobile devices, different and so on, okay? So how we can classify the test environments, okay? As part of compatibility testing, we have to check whether the software under test is working fine in all the supported test environments or not, but how to classify the test environments? Test environments can be classified according to the hardware. Okay, so not everyone uses the same hardware, right? Okay, some 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 people will use uh, Dell, some people will use uh, okay Samsung, some people will use HP, like that. Lot of things, guys. Okay, so some people will use uh, desk, uh, you know, right? Uh, they will not use laptops. Okay, they may use uh, uh, desktop computers. Okay, some people will use uh, Surface kind of stuff. Okay, different hardwares will be there. Okay, different hardwares with having different configurations. Some people will have the RAM as 8 GB. Some people will use the RAM as 4 GB and so on. Hardware will differ from, because if you if you see, if you go and check uh, different end user machines, not all machines are same, right? Okay, some people will use different laptops, different branded laptops, different branded laptops having different hardware, things like uh, different RAM, different CPU and so on, okay? So our application that is, okay, that we are testing should work in all the supported hardwares. And uh, it should also work in all the supported operating system because not everyone will use the application in, not only in Windows operating system, right? Okay, they may use a different operating system like Mac and uh, they may use in different operating systems like the Linux operating systems and so on. So we have to check the application in all the supported operating systems and not only operating system, but also different browsers. As I just now showed you, right? This application, if it is working only in Chrome, doesn't matter, right? Doesn't make sense. It should work in Firefox, Opera, Brave, IE, Edge, and so on, okay, Safari, and so on. And not only that, in different mobile devices, it should work. Nowadays, everyone is using different sizes of mobile devices, right? Some people are using uh, smartphones, some people are using, uh, you know, right, tablet kind of devices like iPad, okay, and Android uh, tablets, and so on, okay? So it should work in all the different varieties of mobile devices. And this particular application should support different networks, okay? Not everyone will use the same network, right? Some people will use a, a direct internet connection. Some people will use like mobile internet connection, right? Some people will use a broadband as an as part of internet connection and so on. Different networks will be there. Different way of communications are there. All the different supported networks should be tested, okay? The application should be uh, tested in all the supported networks. Not only that, guys, sometimes what happens is when you want to uh, use an application, that application cannot be directly installed and used, okay? It, it, it depends on another software. For example, if you take an Eclipse IDE or IntelliJ IDEA editors, okay? So where you can write your Java programs or Python programs or whatever it is, such kind of editors you can use for writing the code, right? But they are not directly available, okay? You cannot directly install and use them. So for this kind of editors to, to work, 
beforehand you have to install some software tweak set software like you have to install java in your machine or you have to install python in your machine then only this particular editors are going to launch and work okay so other supported software okay so via which the software should work also need to be tested as part of compatibility testing okay whether because where the compatibility testing will come into picture is uh, whether uh, the editors or whatever the software that are demanding the prefix sets like java or something right whether they are working together or not we have to check as part of compatibility testing not only that guys versions make sense for example this is windows 11 okay windows 11 is there windows 10 is there windows uh, 8.1 is there windows 8 is there windows 7 is there and so on right windows xp and so on different versions of operating systems are there different versions of browsers are there different versions of softwares other softwares like java versions are there 1.6 1.7 1.8 and so on okay whether the application under test is supported by all the supported versions of the hardware operating system browsers and all or not also we have to check as part of the compatibility testing it's not a simple thing guys compatibility testing is not a simple thing okay it's a very complex thing where the application if it is working only in one test environment does that doesn't make sense because there are a lot of test environments that support the application and the real end users or customers actually use the software okay that is getting released into the market in all the different environments because not all the customers will have the same environments right the environments will differ in hardware operating system browsers mobile device networks other other software and versions and so on okay so that's what is compatibility testing guys to check whether the software under test is working correctly in all the supported test environment classified by classified with all these different categories or not we have to check so there is something like backward compatibility testing and forward compatibility testing what is backward compatibility testing and what is forward compatibility testing let me explain now so let me give an example guys with that example you can understand what exactly is backward compatibility testing for example you have the uh, coming to the backward compatibility testing yes let's say you have the latest version of ms office for example if i search for ms office here i have ms office software in my machine which is of 2019 version okay it's 2019 version whatever the ms office software i am using in my machine is nothing but the ms office 2019 version whether that ms office latest version as per today's date ms office 2019 is latest that particular 2019 latest version of ms office is still working in the older operating system of windows or not whether the latest version of ms office ms office 2019 is compatible with the older operating system version that is windows 8 i have windows 11 in my machine but is ms office 2019 is compatible with windows 8 or not checking that kind of thing is known as backward compatibility if it has to support for example windows 8 is supporting ms office 2019 then as software testers we have to test whether ms office latest version of ms office that is 2019 is working in the older version of windows operating system that is windows 8 testing such kind of thing is known as backward compatibility testing okay develop software the latest developed software is compatible with the older versions of other software or not is known as software or hardware is known as backward compatibility testing it can be hardware or software is okay coming to backward compatibility forward is reverse of the backward compatibility is a forward compatibility so what is forward compatibility developed software the latest developed software is compatible with the new versions or not for example long back okay let's say the developers have long back developed this ms office 2007 version okay ms office 2007 version they have developed that ms office 2007 version is still working on the windows 11 the latest windows 11 or not here forward we are checking our software that we are testing is ms office ms office 2017 or 2007 or 2016 whatever you take is that particular older version of ms office is still working with the latest windows 11 operating system or this is windows 11 operating system in that windows 11 the older version of ms office is working or not checking that is forward compatibility we are checking our software on the latest versions of the software is known as software or hardware is known as forward com forward compatibility testing which is an opposite of the backward compatibility testing okay so there are lot of tools available in the market guys okay for compatibility testing there are lot of tools available in the market like uh, there are some cloud platforms like uh, browser stack and source lab and there are some uh, desktop kind of softwares like virtual desktops okay this kind of tools we can use to perform the compatibility testing why we have to use tools for performing the compatibility testing let me explain for example guys uh, i'll take this application amazon.com application okay this amazon.com application should work in a chrome browser of windows 11 machine okay and also at same time i want to test this amazon.com uh, 
uh, in the Chrome browsers of Chrome browser of Windows 10 machine. I want to test the same Amazon.com in the Chrome browser of Windows 8.1 machine. Chrome browser of again, I need to test Amazon.com in the as part of compatibility testing. I need to cover a lot of test environments. Okay, uh, Windows 8, Windows 7 like that. From Windows 7 onwards, Windows 11, that many operating systems in the Chrome browser app. Not only Chrome browser in different browsers like Firefox, IE, in all the different operating system, different browsers I have to check. And also not only that, guys, I have to test this Amazon.com in different browsers in Mac machine. I have to test Amazon.com in different flavors of different uh, Linux operating systems in different browsers. That many combinations are there. But is it possible for me to purchase so many machines having different operating systems and different versions of operating systems and different browsers installed? Is it possible for me to purchase? Not only me, guys, a company cannot also purchase so many things, right? So if a company, in, in a company, there's testers and the testers are, have to test this particular application in different operating system, different operating system versions, and in the different operating system, operating system versions, in the different browsers, they have to test. Is it possible for the company also to procure or purchase so many machines, so many laptops having different operating systems and different flavors of Linux and different uh, Mac operating systems and Mac operating system versions and Windows operating system and Windows operating system versions. It's not possible, guys. Okay? Literally, it is not possible. That's where what came into picture is this kind of tools came into picture like browser stack and source labs kind of tools. Okay, there are many other tools available in the market. So these are the leading ones. Browser stack and source labs are the leading ones in the market. What are these guys? Okay, they are cloud platforms. Okay, this browser stack and SaaS labs are the cloud platforms where uh, everything is on the internet, guys. Okay, you just need to create an account with the SaaS labs or browser stack. For example, if I take you to one of the things like a uh, SaaS labs, okay, SaaS labs, SaaS labs. Okay, just let me search SaaS labs. Here is the you see. So here, this is a kind of thing, guys. Okay, so SaaS labs is a kind of thing where you can. Uh, it is a cloud platform, guys. You just need to sign up for the South Labs. Once you sign up for the South Labs, guys, okay, what will happen is uh, once you pay some license amount, okay, it's not free, guys, okay. So for trial, it is available. You can check for trial. My trial got expired already. So you can try it if you want to still try South Labs. You can try it, guys, okay. Try it free and then you can use it. Choose a plan and all. So here, it is a virtual cloud, uh, cloud containing a lot of operating systems, a lot of browsers and all, okay, ready made. Not only that, guys, not only uh, browsers and operating system, but also a lot of devices, okay? So you can take any device, okay? You want OnePlus, OnePlus 7, you can find it here on the cloud, okay? If you want uh, um, iPhone, iPhone 13 Pro Max and all those stuff, okay? You can find all the devices here on the cloud. They are not real devices, okay? They are virtual devices, okay? Virtual devices, virtual test environments will be hosted on the cloud somewhere on the remote machines, and you can access. It's like a pay and use case. You don't own them, okay? You don't own these uh, machines or you don't own these uh, devices, but you can use them by paying this, okay? Pay and use kind of stuff, okay? It's like you are paying and using this, uh, this uh, test environment that are available on the cloud case, okay? So uh, I'm just trying to see like, uh, if I can show you some images or something, uh, maybe that will be there on the, uh, images section okay if i say SARS labs and you can i can show you some images guys okay where you can see for example guys this is one of the screen inside the source left because i cannot create an account and show you the source left now so once you log into the uh, once you sign up to source labs and if you go with a trial plan or paid plan then source labs kind of application will provide you this kind of cloud environments you see you can you can select a, a different browser a different uh Okay, in, in, in a browser, you can select a different version. Okay, you can select the mobile things and all those stuff. Okay, a lot of things are possible here. Guys. Okay, mobile also is there and a lot of things are possible. You don't have to purchase so many environments, right? This many combinations you cannot purchase, guys. Okay, this kind of companies are providing the uh, collection of, okay, collection of different operating systems, browsers and different browser versions and all, not only desktop applications, but mobile devices and all those stuff. Okay, you don't have to purchase all the combinations and simply by it's a pay and use kind of service where you pay some license amount for a month and you can use, you can access all these environments at a cheaper cost. Okay. That's what is source labs. Similarly, uh, browser stack is also same as, okay. It's a, like a, they are competitors kind of thing. Browser stack and source labs are competitors. Okay. Same, same concept. On the internet, you just need to create an account and you just pay some amount uh, if your trial has expired and they start using the different environments. Okay. Instead of purchasing them. Fine. So apart from that, guys, okay, uh, if you have, if you, uh, apart from that, you can also use virtual desktops, okay? So you can use virtual desktop softwares like VirtualBox and VMware, okay? Using the softwares, right, you can install, you can, you can access multiple operating systems in the 
you can have multiple test environments in the same machine of yours okay for example in my machine i have windows 11 if i want windows 10 or if i want linux ubuntu in my machine if i want then i can install virtual box guys okay on my main machine i have windows 11 on that windows 11 i am installing a software like virtual box software i think i already installed let me start for the virtual box software you see this software you can download from google you can google search for virtual box and you'll get this software okay it's from the oracle company it's for free guys okay you can try this out so let me uh, i'm launching that virtual box software here so this is how it looks you see in the virtual box software i created an instance for the ubuntu how to create the instance that's out of topic just focus on that here in my windows 11 machine if i want to access ubuntu then with the help of this virtual box software i'll create a uh, you know right uh, I create a virtual test environment in my machine on the top of windows 11 i can access ubuntu operating system okay and just start the operating system like this okay i'll just start the operating system like this so ubuntu will start in my machine okay so there are different softwares available in the market not only virtual box guys there are other competitor softwares for virtual box like uh, we have virtual machine you see in my windows machine in my windows machine i am able to launch ubuntu software okay in a while ubuntu will start just wait for that ubuntu will start so why i have to create this kind of test environments because my application has to be tested not only in, in windows 11 but also it has to be tested in linux ubuntu operating system also so in that case i cannot purchase another device right i cannot purchase another laptop and install ubuntu there instead of doing that i'll use this kind of softwares like virtual box or virtual machines and from there, I'll start the operating systems and use them. Okay, so it will start in a while. Guys. It's uh, still loading and all. Okay, it's taking some time. So let me see. Yeah, you see Ubuntu is starting in my machine, right? It's loading. Ubuntu is loading in my machine. So let's wait for some more time. So I'll just show you that screen and then I'll just uh, stop this session. So the Ubuntu is starting here. As you can see here, guys, the Ubuntu operating system has been launched in my Windows 11. My main machine has a Windows 11. And in my main machine, where Windows 11 is there, there we have the VirtualBox software. Using via the VirtualBox software, we are able to launch another uh, kind of virtual machine. Okay, this is not the real machine, this is a virtual machine. Windows 11 is a main machine, actual machine, but here this is a virtual machine. This kind of software exists, guys. Okay. So this kind of software helps you to perform compatibility testing because not always you can have a lot of money to purchase all the test environments where your application can be tested. So in such kind of cases, guys, we can create this kind of virtual box kind of environments, or we can use uh, cloud platforms like Source Labs to perform the compatibility testing. Okay, you, you see here, different browsers are there and all those stuff, okay? You can use them and all. So with this, guys, uh, with this, guys, I have answered you what exactly is compatibility testing in detail. Now, you can answer like whatever the, whatever the way you understood here, you can answer the same answer to the interviewer if you get this kind of question in the interviews okay so so that's all for this session guys uh, see in the next session where i'm going to answer the next software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye